Hi guys, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to talk about rearranging formulas, which is also sometimes referred to as literal equations. So we're going to just be moving equations around to get one of the variables by itself. And in some of these problems, it's going to be made up of only variables. There won't be any numbers at all. Okay, but we're going to do this first problem, and it's a side-by-side -side comparison. So on the left side, we have 2x minus 5 equals 13. And on the right side, I have ax minus b equals c. We're going to follow the same steps on both of them, except for on one, we're going to actually be able to simplify because we have numbers. And on the other one, we're just going to rewrite it with, with the operations that we used. Okay, so the 2x minus 5 equals 13. So most of you guys know that the first thing we would do is add 5 to both sides. That's going to cancel. I'm going to get 2x equals 18. Then on this side, on the right, if I wanted to get x, if I'm solving for x, I want to get x by itself, first thing I would do is add b to both sides. That would cancel over there, and I'd have ax equals c plus b. I can't add c and b um, and get a simpler thing, so I'm just going to leave it because they're not like terms. On the left, I would then divide by 2, and those would cancel, and I would get x equals 9. On the right side, I would divide by a, because I'm trying to get x by itself, and those would cancel, and I get x equals c plus b over a, and then there's nothing else I could do, so x equals c plus b over a. All right, in this one, d equals rt, solve for t, so I want to get t by itself. It's connected to an r by multiplication, so I'm going to divide both sides by r, the r's cancel on the right, and I get d divided by r equals t. Alright, volume equals length times width times height. We know this formula. They want us to rearrange it to solve for h, so solve for height. I want to get h by itself. It's connect connected to l and w by multiplication. So I'm going to divide both sides by l, w. Those cancel, and I get v divided by l, w equals h. a equals pi r squared, solve for r. So I want to get r by itself. I'm going to divide both sides by pi. That cancels out there. I get a over pi equals r squared. I want r by itself. I don't want r squared. So to undo a square, I would take the square root. So I square root both sides, and I get r equals the square root of a over pi. And that's all I can do. This next one, I have a equals 1 half bh. They want us to solve for h, so I want to get h by itself. I want to get rid of that fraction, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 2 over 1 on both sides, or just 2. So that cancels. I get 2a equals bh. Again, I'm trying to get h by itself, so I'm going to get rid of the b by dividing both sides by b. So I have 2 over a, or 2a divided by b equals h. K equals mv squared over 2. They want us to solve for m. I can go ahead and get rid of that 2. Everything is dividing by 2, so I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite, which would be multiply both sides by 2. That cancels. I get 2k equals mv squared. They want me to get m by itself, so I, it's connected to a v squared by multiplication. So I'll divide both sides by v squared, and I get m equals 2k over v squared. P equals 2L plus 2W. Solve for W. I want to get W by itself. It's connected to a 2L by addition, so I'm going to subtract 2L on both sides. So I have P minus 2L equals 2W. And I want to get rid of that 2 that's connected to the W by multiplication. So I'll divide both sides by 2. And I have to divide everything that's on that left side. So it's P minus 2L all over 2 equals W. Isaiah planted a seedling in his garden and recorded its height every week. The equation shown can be used to estimate the height h of the seedling after w weeks since he planted the seedling. Solve the formula for w, the number of weeks since he planted the seedling. All right, so I have h equals 3 fourths w plus 9 fourths. I want to get w by itself, so I'm going to get rid of the 9 fourths by subtracting 9 fourths on both sides. 
So I have h minus 9 fourths equals 3 fourths w. Now I want to get rid of that 3 fourths. So I, to get rid of a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 thirds. Okay, it cancels out there and just leaves me with w. But on this side, I'm multiplying that entire side by 4 thirds. So I wrapped it in parentheses. And then I'm going to multiply each term. So 4 thirds times h would be 4 thirds h. 4 thirds times 9 fourths. Multiplying fractions, no big problem. Top times top over bottom times bottom. I get 36 twelfths, and I brought down the minus sign. Okay. And 36 divided by 12 would give me 3, so I just go ahead and simplify that to 4 thirds h minus 3 equals w. All right, that's it.